Hey everybody, welcome back to Beach Block Mod Explosion. And I have done a little bit of stuff. Actually, a fair bit of stuff. Um, nothing, um, well, not so much extreme. Okay, anyway, let's let's get to it. First of all, I've got, you know, a few more furnaces up around here. And uh, we got a little bit more stuff in here. For one, I made this inscriber for from Applied Energistics. Um, and I've got some stuff going here. Uh, these inscriber presses, I actually um, just kind of copied the ones Eternal had. He said, you know, go ahead and, and help yourself. Um, he's just kind of helping me catch up a little bit um, <laughs> from lagging behind on everything that we, uh, we were doing. Um, so let's see here. We've got uh, some ore stuff down here. Got um, <laughs> I've got seven iron ingots left uh, in this chest after all that stuff before about running out of iron by the way he was here he left me something in this chest which I've already uh, gone ahead and removed and put into use um, and we will go over that in a minute I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of these because I don't need them um, my lava tank is empty I've actually got uh, what's in here copper okay yeah so I've processed my iron I've got parts in here for the machines we're gonna put together here in the beginning of the episode let me move my mic just a little bit closer for you. Um, Alright, so I've got all these magical crop things going up here. Uh, I've got redstone, um, coal, iron. <laughs> so we can actually make iron. We're not out of iron. Like, basically, I just grab one of these and throw it in a crafting table like this and do that. And look, there's almost a stack of ore, so I can throw that in there like that um and actually i've got a little bit of iron in here that needs to be pulled out uh that is actually on so as soon as that smelts it'll start throwing iron blocks oh i have three iron blocks in here that's cool all right let me show you what i've done outside you can see this uh wall is a little bit different um yeah so we added something we raised this um put <laughs> i'll explain that guy in a minute um I changed this out. I put these um, uh, industrial hemp seeds down here. Um, raised up the uh, the bed here for magical crops. Um, now, I'll explain how to get these in a minute. These are magical crops done with AgriCraft. Um, and you use... I do not have any more on me. They're in there. Um, but I've got a harvester going. Just, yeah harvest it doesn't you don't need to replant anything um, I've got an extra row here because I want to put some more of these down actually those should harvest any second um, but yeah these crops with agricraft they have um, you notice at the top there they've got three attributes um, these are all 10 10 10 growth gain and strength um, when you start out breeding crops with agricraft um, they, uh, they start at ones, <laughs> um, and we have a seed analyzer to help us figure that stuff out, too. I will get to that in just a minute. Um, but, yeah, I changed all the fence out except for down by the water for this uh, stone slab. Now, what these are is actually you just take these regular stone slabs that you get from vanilla Minecraft, and you place them in a crafting grid side by side. It gives you a stone slab with no line because normally you would just stack these individually and they look like this um but if you put them side by side in a crafting table you get these stone slab blocks with no line in the middle and i think they're awesome i like them a lot so yeah i got a chunk loader going on up here these guys we we've added and you'll notice up in the top left hand corner of the screen there's a new little thing that PSWM with a version number that uh, actually stands for let me give you this um, as soon as my NEI catches up there we go um, Parsi's Star Wars mod um, is what these characters are from but these guys actually are not from the uh, the mod itself these are custom NPCs <laughs> um, so yeah uh, pick on has gone around and placed sand trooper guards <laughs> around everybody's base and uh, 
yeah, so that that helps protect us from the mobs. Um, also, we have removed um, laser creepers riding dinos from space uh, because the mod is just too buggy. Those things would spawn wherever they felt like it in broad daylight and with no regard to any type of spawn rules. And it just became um, more of a bother than anything. So uh, we removed, had to remove those, unfortunately. But anyway, um, moving forward, um, you'll also notice over there is a little like hologram looking thing. That's from a... Uh, Oh, what's it called? <laughs> Let's go over and look at that, and I'll explain that first. Um, it's, uh, what's, oh, there, ouch. There's actually two different versions of this thing in this pack. Um, this is the advanced one. I, I've never even used a basic one before. Building guide, that's it. It's a building guide. This is the enhanced building guide. I've never even used a basic one, but I've played with this one here enough. I figured out how to use it uh, somewhat. And this is a... Oh, those are rounded. That's interesting. They changed on me. Because they weren't round before. Um, I was playing with this a little bit ago, so maybe I need to no, okay that's not the number I want to change um, let me try this did that straighten it out or no it did something to it huh yeah, I have to tweak it a little more, but basically what I'm doing is building a, uh, it's actually 65 by 65 uh, octagon. Um, that is going to be the base for our project for this series. Um, <laughs> I will go ahead and tell you, I intend, I may have to make this a little bit bigger. I intend to build um, my version of Stark Tower from the Avengers. Um, with, you know, the tower's going to come up here and have the big platform on it. Um, and that will be our platform for uh, launching um, different aerial vehicles and such. And we will have a room with uh, all the different um, versions of, if you will, of the Iron Man suit. <laughs> uh, we will be using modular power suits uh, mod for that. Um, but yeah, that is going to be our big project for this pack. That's what I've decided that I want to work on. Um, so there is uh, an outline of the base of it. Um, the, the tower, actually, most people build the tower, they ignore the base that it sets on, and they just put the main part of the tower just on the ground, which is not accurate. Um, there is a big octagon base that it sets on, and I am going to include that. Um, most of my farms and things like that will actually be in the base, um, storage will be up through the middle of you know, the main part of the tower um, and crafting and things like that will be up through there and then um, actually storage may be in the bottom as well but then like the auto crafting and all that stuff will be up through the center and then at the top we'll have all the goodies um, all the toys to play with and stuff so yeah but first of all before I get to any of that we've got to get some uh, materials going and do some you know I've, I've actually yeah since I've got these now I can get diamond seeds um, Eternals got some uh, he said I could have but yeah the uh, let's see what was it Enderium seeds actually let's see coal uh, there's a row of iron Enderium this row right here um, and then what's this one that's redstone this row the Enderium seeds yeah there they are that's what was in that little tiny chest was two seed packets of that um, and actually, let me go, um, let me see here. Let me grab clippers, agricraft clippers. Um, basically, how you make these things grow is, it's like, say I do this. We're just going to grow these up real quick. They grow pretty fast, actually. Um, yeah, so we take the clippers and you right-click and it gives you a seed packet. And you can do that down to um, where there's no... Uh, no growth um, showing but I got six off of that right there that I can just go down through here oh I don't have my sticks 
I gotta get the AgriCraft um, sticks, which I have in here someplace. Here we go. So I'll actually show you. Oh, somebody's busy. I can't fly right now because I've unmorphed. But if I go down here, I actually want to. Well, yeah, I want to add another row of the Manikia. So you place your stick. And then you place the crop in it, and it starts out, you know, very small. And then, like I said, these are all, the, the seeds that you clip off of those are 10, 10, 10 as well. Um, now, oh, okay, I don't, I ran out of stuff. Uh, let me just grab this and just grab a couple more seeds, like so. That was too many. <laughs> I'm going to have extra. Um, there. So how you get these things started. Let me let me go grab actually you know what I'll do. Um, I have this guy right here that I can make a certain seed with. Let me find I only have one wither skeleton skull. I really wish I had three more of those but I don't so for now what I'll do and like I said I could actually go get the diamonds from uh, eternal I'm just gonna throw away these other uh, seed packets because nobody needs them um, so what you do is you go out here oh wait I didn't make my diamond seed <laughs> all right so we put that's not the right table here we go all right, we do that. There's diamond seeds. So we go out here. And let's see. Those are actually kind of close. Well, we'll just start over here. So if I put that there and I water it, once it grows a little bit, I can uh, actually take a clipping off of it. Get them! Get him! Get him! <laughs> oh, he, she poisoned my guard. <laughs> oh, also, I added redstone to my crossbow, so it actually shoots faster. Where the... I missed. See, the reload time is much better than what it was. Wow, I shot right under its head. <laughs> I didn't say I aim got any better, I just said I made it shoot faster. <laughs> Let's finish reloading that. Um... Okay, so basically, what I can do is put that back. Alright, so what I can do is water this until it's fully grown in there, and then I can use the clippers and get a second clipping of it that may or may not grow the first time. For whatever reason, I've noticed... And I, I don't know, maybe I was lagging when I tried it the other night. But yeah, see, there's that. So then I can take these seeds, this here, and I can plant this packet right there. Now, yeah, see, no seed planted. It didn't give me one. So what else I can do is I can go over here and I can take a few more clippings. <laughs> and... What, there, okay, I got one. Alright. Now, I don't really need need these two seed packets. Because what happens is... I actually grow these up. Okay, there they're both full grown. Now, what you're going to see... See, they're, they're going to say uh, seed is not yet analyzed up there at the top. So, what I do is I actually break that. I'm going to break both of them, as a matter of fact. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to open the seed analyzer. And I'm going to throw one in there. Okay, and then it's going to actually pop up here. Yeah, there it added the stats. So I have one, one, one. And I'm going to go ahead and analyze both of them. Even though it's not actually going to be any better yet. Now, I can stack those. That's good. Okay, so then I come over here. And I plant. Let's not plant it there. Let's plant it here and here. And I'm going to put the seeds in there. And I'm going to water these again until they get matured. 
okay and then what you do is you actually take once you have two mature plants you take these sticks and you place a second one on there oh wow I got a seed immediately I didn't even have to water it so you break that you take this seed over here it's unidentified you put it in here and it should have additional stats on at least one of the attributes say their strength is two so then what you do is you take that seed you come over here you break one of these put new sticks down and you plant that seed and then you grow it to maturity and then well I'll just tell you then you do the same thing after it matures you I just I accidentally right clicked on that plant didn't I and harvested it yeah I got an extra thing but once those mature you basically you do the same thing now if if weeds grow in there you want to break those and get rid of them immediately and then just replant but every time you break that double stick thing you lose one of your sticks so you're gonna to have to go through and make a few but here's basically how you make them is you just do that right there just sticks in your little personal crafting area makes crop sticks um, but then you just keep doing that and replace these two with the new better crop each time until you get a 10 10 10 uh, that grows and then you take that and you plant it grow it to maturity make clippings of it and then just plant those clippings and they're all 10 10 10s so that is how that works but I'm not even gonna finish doing this with my own with these because um, I'm just going to go take clippings of Eternals, <laughs> diamond seed, or diamond crops. So, uh, yeah, um, that is, that's how we are getting our materials. And yeah, now I'm still going to set up a quarry and, and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those, um, for now. I don't really have any use for those. Um, I will keep the essence, but, um, Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're still going to set up the um, the machines that we were going to from before. So we're going to use this first. Okay, let me actually organize my backpack. So we're going to set it up right here for now, at least. Um, like I said, all this stuff will move at some point. It'll go over there. Um, but we want to set up the uh, the thing that we're going to pump those two fluids into uh, to make um, biodiesel. So let's look at the uh, the thing first of all. Uh, let's see. It's under biodiesel. And here we go. The refinery. All right. So uh, what we need is... Can I make this thing do something? Here we go. Okay, scaffolding is the first thing. So we put down scaffolding, heavy machine block, scaffolding, scaffolding, light machine block, scaffolding, light machine block, light machine block, light machine block, scaffolding, light machine block, scaffolding, scaffolding, heavy machine block, scaffolding. All right, so that's the bottom layer. And then, so it's five by three, right? And then the next layer is six of these uh, steel things okay then we have a light machine block on the back a heavy machine block on the front and then we have another six um, it's uh, it's not steel it's sheet metal blocks is what it is and then we do looks like another row of those there and then it comes over and does another row of those there I think that's all of the parts okay so here Okay, then we take our hammer, and I think we right-click this. Oh, wow, look at that. There we go. That is awesome. All right, how does it work? <laughs> uh, okay, so we open our book back up. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, we need to insert both fluids into refinery supply power structures created as shown above by and formed by clicking the center of the front with an engineer's hammer. Front of the refinery serves as fluid output whereas the inputs are found on the smaller sides oh crap i might need to move it away from the wall um, energy is supplied through the connector at the back applying a redstone signal to the control panel at the right will halt the refinery's processes okay this is the redstone thing so our inputs are actually over here and here this is the output and the power goes back here so i have to break this and reposition it so let me do that and i'll be right back 
All right, so here's how I decided to uh, redo this. Now, um, here's something else. Uh, all right, we got to get fluid from those to this. So I haven't actually looked this up yet, but um, there is in here a, uh, let's see, maybe in here? No. Somewhere in here is um, something about uh, fluid pipes. Uh, fluid transport. Okay, fluid pipes. Eight iron ingots and, or I'm sorry, four iron ingots and four iron plates makes eight fluid pipes. So now it says uh, that you can actually just transport fluid with just the pipe. Um, now there's a pump you can use um, to make it go faster. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're going to put a pump here and a pump here and pipe and pump this stuff down into the ground and over here uh, one fluid to each side of the machine. Um, so let me see. I'm going to go in here. I showed you the recipe. I'm going to go in here, craft some of these up and uh, actually I'll have to look up how to make the pump as well. So I will show you that before I put that together and I will be right back. All right. So I've got the pipes run. Um, this one just comes straight over here. You can still see the dirt lines a little bit where I was digging around. This one, I actually moved it from here over to underneath of here, but this one runs along here, comes to this wall, and then goes down and comes up here. So those are going to be our inputs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the, um, the, the plant oil in this side then, and the uh, ethanol over here so we'll get biodiesel output here now I don't know how much this actually holds oh looky here we have an interface that's cool okay so we should actually once we get this thing going we should see one going or two of them going down and one of them going up um, another thing I have to do is hook power to the back end of this which I think I can do without adding anything else up there so let me grab um, I have no more connectors well poop all right um, we can we can make one. That's that's no big deal. Or well, uh, actually, it comes in packs of eight. So um, actually, let me grab that. Um, after I grab these pumps, let's do this. All right. So we have uh, two fluid pumps, iron ingots, mechanical components, and then pipes here. So we're gonna grab those. Sweet. Got an achievement. That's awesome. All right. So then we're gonna put this here and this here. Now. This, I think, will allow us to connect here and here, but these pumps need, now they should actually start working, I thought. Okay, maybe you need a redstone, no, you need a redstone signal, period. So I'm going to throw that torch there. Why does it not give me, oh, maybe I have to put a pipe in between? Hold on a second. Let's try this. That should be an output. Oh, shift right click should turn the other side to input. Okay, I got my plant oil out. <laughs> I don't know at what point it actually worked, but I got it out. Um, and I don't know if it's working at the current time. So, <laughs> But I'm going to leave that as is. Alright, so this guy here, alright, the stuff is still in there. So blue should be input. So we want this set to output oops wait a minute turn that back okay so all right it's still in there so if I set this side to out well I shift click so the other side should be on blue now so it should be an output um, oh it's actually already pumping without the redstone torch so you know what we're just gonna get rid of that we don't need that after all um, all right so we have plant oil and we have ethanol. Now, we just have to supply this thing with power. So let me craft a few more connectors. All right, we are all hooked up and we should have... No, we don't. Why do we not have stuff? Um, do I have to put power over here? Or a redstone signal to turn it on? 
down is on. It doesn't have power. Hmm. Oh, I know what the problem is. Switch the side to output. Okay, it's actually... Okay, now it's got power, but it's turned off. Because I put the switch on. So if I flip the switch... There we go. We are making biodiesel. How awesome is that? That is amazing right there, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we're going to get... Um, okay. Alright, yeah. We're going to get as much biodiesel as we have total fluid over here. So these are only going to go down about halfway, and this is going to be full. Alright, so we have biodiesel. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we can fill our drill straight from that machine and now I've gone ahead and made that pressurized air tank so we can pop this out of here and oh yeah <laughs> that is cool <laughs> all right now we're going to take this and we're going to pop it right in here and oh it fills up immediately okay Wow, it only holds 4,000 millibuckets. So I used it, I put the extra tank in there. So I wonder how much it would have held if I did not do that. All right, so let's go down here and play with it. All right, let's just start here. So if I hold the left click, it does that. And we used six millibuckets of fuel and six durability on the drill head. So basically, I can just walk. Oh wow, it does dirt too. Let's put a torch down. Um, <laughs> now that little tunnel right there, okay, we used 134 durability and not quite 100, about 86 millibuckets of fuel. So fuel's gonna do okay. Oh, and also, these um, drill heads I found out, we repair those in an anvil um, somehow. I don't know how that works exactly. Um, but yeah, so now I can dig tunnels really quick. Like, it works pretty good, actually. Um, digs, uh, digs dirt faster, obviously, than, than uh, it does stone and all that, but that is fine. I got a new toy to play with, <laughs> and I'm happy about it. <laughs> so I will uh, I'll do some digging around later um, and see what all I can find, maybe, probably. Um, I just wanted to make it and try it out more than anything. I don't know that it's actually something I'm going to use on a regular basis. I'm still going to build a quarry, uh, like I, I think I said earlier. Um, but yeah, so that is going to be it for today. We've got uh, biodiesel being... Uh, um, or we're able to make biodiesel. I'm actually going to hook up a, a tank to this output um, with immersive engineering, and I'll show you that in the next episode. Um, but yeah, so it's eventually we will hook farms up to this with the uh, the hemp seeds. Um, we'll get like we'll have these being processed uh, to where we're getting the extra seeds from these, and we'll make plant oil out of that. And then we will use um, the potatoes to make uh, the ethanol um, with the farms. So we'll get we'll have those being fed, and then that will all feed into this, and this will make the ethanol and feed it into a tank, and we'll have a reserve of biodiesel or make make biodiesel, not the ethanol. The ethanol comes from there, uh, the fermenter. But we'll make the biodiesel, pump it into a tank, and then we will build the um, biodiesel or the I'm sorry. Is, what is it? The biodiesel generator? Is that what it's called? Oh my, look at my inventory. Um, is it the biodiesel generator? Is that what it's called? Generator... Diesel... Well, diesel generator. That's what it is. Um, that'll give us high voltage power, and we can work on power storage and all that stuff. Um, what I may do is actually, once we get stuff going on that base... Um, this area right here will probably turn into just a power plant. Uh, we may set up some water wheels, you know, for looks. We'll have windmills up there. Uh, we may throw up a lightning rod. 
um, with a network of steel fences up in the sky to collect uh, the lightning. Um, if it storms, actually, we'll probably stick it down here further by the river. Uh, or maybe we'll put it, maybe, maybe we might, might put that on top of the tower. I don't know. Well, probably not. Probably not. We'll probably put it up on the hill, somewhere where it rains. I've noticed that it doesn't rain right here. I don't know if it has to do with my meteor shield or not. Um, but it is kind of interesting that, yeah, when I walk outside and I see it raining, it's not raining here. Um, it's raining over out here in the yard, but not right by my door, which is odd. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I really like this multi-block stuff with industrial, uh, or immersive industrial, immersive engineering. Um, so yeah, th this is pretty cool. Um, I'm looking forward to building that generator and uh, some other stuff that um, the, uh, the the mod has, such as the excavator. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with that. Don't forget to download the pack. Look out, look down in the uh, video description below for links uh, and information and all that stuff relating to that. And um, yeah, so we will see you next time. And hopefully, I'll have something started on that base next time as well. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a good one. Bye-bye. One more little note. I switched back to this armor because you'll notice my armor bar down here is full. With this crap, it was only about half. Um, so I was already using the, the tier three or the best armor, I guess. This freezer right is like, it, it, it's good for water walking. Basically that cold touch freezes water when you walk on it. So you don't sink. You, you just walk on the water all the time. Um, and the other stuff is good for water breathing and, you know, uh, for the respiration aquafinity. But as far as the best armor properties uh this is the best plus you get fire protection but i'm gonna have to replace my my pants soon but other than that um yeah so i switched back my armor